Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 240 of our trek and we are continuing on the current trek, your life plan blueprint. Yesterday we remained on our trail covering the fourth step or phase of our Wesper framework, which is planning. We examine how to fit your daily and weekly task into your schedule through the use of a calendar and then identifying the best times each day to work on your task, and lastly, how to invest your time wisely. Today we will focus on the exploration of how best to schedule your task to ensure that you are consistent with your strategy. Since our life planning series does cover many days, if you miss any of the days of the Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. I am incorporating all of these daily concepts along with worksheets into an easy-to-use workbook and I'll let you know when I have that completed so that you can download it. In the meantime, if you have any questions or would like additional information as we go through our daily trek, please leave us a comment at wisdom-trek.com or email me at guthrie at venturecg.com. We are recording our podcast from our studios at The Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Our renovation contractors were back on Monday and they start to drywall the ceilings and skim coat the walls. It will mean additional dust and cleanup, but it will be well worth it when it is finished. I'm also making slow but steady progress on the woodwork in the library. On the outside, temperatures are moderating a bit this week, but it'll take some time for the current snowfall to melt completely. And since we're outside now, let us head out on our trail for today, day number 20 of our Wisdom Trek Life Plan process, which we refer to as your Life Plan Blueprint. We started two days ago developing the plan for long-term objective goals and short-term activity goals. These goals need to be based on your pre-planned strategy for proper execution and completion of those goals. You must now allocate the time required to ensure its success. This leads us to the trail that we will continue to explore today, which is to fit your plan into your schedule. And the third point that we want to look at under this topic is to schedule your weekly and daily activity goals or task. After you have identified the best available times to work on your goal, here is where you actually schedule your goal task. First, schedule your key activities for success. Start filling in the available time slots with your key activities for success first. These are the important tasks in your goal setting and need to be placed in order of priority. As part of your long-term life plan, it is important that you complete all activities if possible, but focus on the task that will have the most impact first. Second, schedule the remaining task. After giving priority to your key activities of success, fill in the other task. These are the remaining tasks that need to be done in the course of your goal pursuit, but they are not necessarily all that critical in the bigger picture of your goal. But they do need to be done anyway as part of your activity goal and life plan. And third, ensure that you spend a disproportionate amount of time and energy on the key activities for success. Ideally, the majority of your time is allocated to your key activities for success. Your other tasks should be disproportionately skewed toward the former. The ratio will be dependent on the context of the activity goals as they fit into your overall life plan, but the general principle is to spend as much time and focus on your key activities of success as possible. As you work through your schedule, here are some tips that can help you to build a more robust schedule. The first tip is to batch or schedule similar tasks. See if you can be more effective by batching tasks or scheduling similar tasks together such as doing all your exercise routine in one block of time while listening to audiobooks or podcasts to improve your mind or other areas of your life. Or do all your grocery shopping once per week. A third suggestion would be batch prepare your meals for the entire week with a specific portion size. The second tip is to allocate sufficient time for each task. Many of us often run into the situation where we underestimate the time needed for our activities. Develop a good understanding of the timing that is needed for each task and then allocate that time accordingly. And the third tip is to schedule buffer time. This is for contingency purposes. Things do come up that we don't expect. This buffer time will come in handy when there are expected events that occur which need your attention or when you underestimate the time taken for a particular task. If you do find that you don't have enough time in your schedule for all your tasks, You will either need to reprioritize your time across all activities in your life plan or choose only those most important activities that will allow you to move closer to fulfilling your life purpose. You may have to delay some of your activities for another season of life. Continue to massage your schedule until they are able to fit into everything in your time schedule. 
Remember that you cannot manage time, you can only manage your activities. Check the journal for day 239 to study the activity management matrix. And the third main point under planning your goals is to ensure congruency or consistency with your strategy. As a checkpoint, your goal plans that you develop should be congruent or consistent with your strategy. Your strategies are a subset of your life plan blueprint, so your goal activity plan should be based on that blueprint and not deviate from it. In any scenario, when you find inconsistency with your goal plans versus your strategy, you need to do one of two things. First, revisit your strategy to examine if you missed something during that step, or second, revise your goal plans to fit your strategy. For example, let's say you want to reduce your body fat by 10%. Your main strategy is to do high intensity interval training, or HIIT for short. This HIIT involves doing bursts of intense exercise that is followed by lower intensity exercises. This method has been proven to be effective in reducing fat compared to other methods. However, when you are doing your planning, you find that you have filled up your exercise schedule with aerobic lessons and resistance training, which are not the HIIT exercises. This will cause you to miss your benchmark. So to stay true with your training, you should identify the exercise that will allow you to perform your high-intensity interval training, such as a treadmill, running outside, or using an elliptical trainer. Let's look at another example where you might have your goal plans and strategies that aren't congruent. Say one of your objectives is to improve your overall health, and one of the measurable activities is to lose 25 pounds. As part of your activity goal plan, you decide to reduce your overall intake of food And so far, you've done that successfully. But if you find yourself still eating out several times per week, or you continue to purchase highly processed foods or box meals, instead of preparing your own meals using whole foods, your plans are not consistent with your strategy of improving your overall health. As you are setting your activity goal plans, remember to solicit the advice of trusted and wise mentors to assist you. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 tells us, Plans go wrong for lack of advice but many advisors bring success. With the right planning that is consistent with your strategies, your execution of those activities will become an easier task. The next step within our WESPER framework is execution. And on our track today, we focused on how best to schedule your time to ensure that they are consistent with your strategy. Tomorrow, we will move on to the fifth step or phase of our WESPER framework, which is the execution of the plans that we have created. We are hiking the Life Plan Trail with perseverance as we lay down the foundations to build your Life Plan Blueprint. This framework integrates into our concept of Wisdom Trek as we do look at life as a trek, which means that we're taking one step at a time. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. As you enjoy your daily doses of wisdom, I encourage you to help us to promote Wisdom Trek in the following four ways. One, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com so that we can continually improve. Second, on your smartphone, subscribe to iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Third, on your computer, or if you do have an iPhone or iPad, leave us a rating and review on iTunes. This will help to promote Wisdom Trek to others so they can join us each day. And fourth, most importantly, please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them and invite them to come along with us on our trek each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcasting journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.